Help me, O Lord, my God. Save me according to your mercy. I'd like you to lift your voice tonight and say, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. According to your mercy, help me. Open your mouth wherever you are. I want you to pray this prayer before we go into the service of tonight. Lord, help me. <clears throat> According to your mercy, help me. According to your mercy, O oh God, help me. Tonight, help me. Ancient of days, help me. King of glory, help me. In Tana Rock of Ages, according to your mercy, help me, Lord. Let me obtain wondrous things out of your law, according to your mercy. Help me, help me. Lift your voice to him, talk to your God and maker. Lord, help me. Tonight, help me. My Lord, help me. Let the world know that your hand has done this. Lord, help me. <clears throat> In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. May you receive help. Amen. God bless you as you comfortably take your seats. This is my night. Amen. You can say that loud. This is my <clears throat> May God make it so. In Jesus' name. Amen. We have been on the series, our answer journey. And God has been showing us a great mystery on the custodians of answers. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we have seen and attest faithfully to, to what God can do, what and what is able to do. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so last Sunday we saw that thank you Holy Spirit. On Sunday we saw that the custodian of answers are men that submit to prophetic what? Leadership. They submit to prophetic grace. Hallelujah. And that was part 13. Am I right? So tonight, we're going to examine part 14. <clears throat> Hebrews chapter 3. Hebrews chapter 3 and verses 1. Hebrews 3 and verses 1. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of heavenly callings. Can you give me the AMPC, please? Partakers of heavenly callings. I'd like you to listen carefully to tonight. It's something special. <clears throat> it says, see how faithful. Verse, verse 1, please. Verse 1. It says, so then, brethren, consecrated and set apart for God, who share in heavenly callings. They have a share in heavenly callings. The Bible says thoughtfully and attentively consider Jesus the apostle and the priest whom we have confessed. So they share. There is a portion of what they have access to. Anything taking place according in the heavenlies, they have access to it. Amen? So it means that if we will consider it carefully, there is a measure of grace fully at work on this man's life. There is a transferred virtue to which they operate with. Are you following me right now? When they step out, each day is a good day. Each noon is a good noon. And each evening is a good evening. Are you following me right now? They have a wonderful time. And when it's about night, it is good night. They don't have a bad night. It's always good. An expression. So they, they share in heavenly callings. In what heaven is able to deliver. They are not in heaven. They are enjoying heaven on earth. Having everything working. So there's been a measure of what God has given to them. And that is bringing us to part 14. They are men 
and women of power. <clears throat> By virtue of what they have access to, there is a measure of power at work on them. They are men and women of power. Of power. If you don't have power, there is no way you will truly survive in this kingdom. He said, Behold, I have given you all the power in heaven and what? And on earth. I've given you. So you are on earth. I've given you power to be able to enjoy what is in heaven and what is also at work on earth. They are in custody of power. And as a result of that, they are custodians of answers. Are you following me right now? When you have an understanding that he has given you power over principalities and powers, you have nothing to fear. When you have an understanding that you are complete in Christ, who is the heir of all principalities and powers, when you have an understanding that you are seated with him in heavenly places, far above principalities and powers, then you have nothing to fear. When you have an understanding that a not some pestilence can't touch you, infirmity can't come near, sickness can't come, then you are truly in power. When you can be in charge of your day. So in other words, those who are in power are men who have established God's kingdom on heart. Take note of that. Those who are in power a man who have established God's kingdom on earth. That is, they find a space in the world we live and establish a kingdom for God. They have been able to say, God, rule over my heart. Each time his kingdom is made manifest on your heart, God is ruling. It means you have power over your heart. When you say, Lord, rule over the affairs of my life, Instantly, God gives you an enabling grace to be in control of your life. When you tell him, Lord, rule over the affairs of my home, then God gives you power to be in charge of your home. When you enter the new street, new, and you ask, you hand over the street to God, you become powerful in that street. When you enter an area new, you hand over the area. So, the establishment of God's kingdom on earth is the release of power. The establishment of God. When you entered a store and nothing is working, it's because there are two things. There is a silence force and there is a prevailing force. So you decide which one should be silent and which one should prevail. Are you following me right now? So you decide which one should be silent. The force has been silencing you and you are not prospering. But if you decide to reignite and hand over that business to God, you will see that the voice of God will come alive. Because God is never an intruder. And until you ask him to take charge, he won't be in charge. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So power is made manifest by establishing the father's will on anything establishing when it comes to earth the intention of the devil is for you to be falling sick every day falling sick from one sickness you jump up from one infirmity to another at that aspect of your life called health you need power to be healthy is somebody following me right now you need power to what to be healthy Power over your veins, your nerves, your bones, your joints to answer to you, not to work against you. Is somebody listening to me right now? He said, For as many that are led by the Spirit, to them what? He gave power to what? To become anything. So if you want to become LD, you must be in custody of the power for healthy living. Are you following me right now? If you want to have a peaceful home, you must be in control of the power that makes for a good home. 
if you want to have godly children there is a power that makes it not money it is not money that makes children well behave in fact you discover that the children of even the poor man seems more behave than the stupid noisy children on the streets so it's not money so it's not what it is grace you are empowered for it and you must be empowered for an office if two people are doing same thing, same thing, same recipe, are you following me right now? And everybody is lining up to one another person. That's what we call the power of influence. So the other one is having power of influence and the power of acceptance where others are accepting him and they are not accepting the other. Two people selling same akar. I've given you this illustration over and over and over again. One is so professional about it, detailed about it, hygiene about it. The other one, she is so dirty looking tattered and having cutter running all through her nose, she's missing it. But you find now that there is power for sales. That is, you don't need to like how I look, but I have taken over this territory as long as God leave it. My cara must sell. Is somebody following me right now? I must succeed. So there is power to break through. Yes. You can have power for good health. Nothing. If sickness, no, they kill you. But you don't have power to make money. Are you following me right now? You struggle, struggle, struggle for everything. Sickness, I say, I even thank God. Though. Thank God I don't get money if I sick now and I die straight. They are men of power. Man. And God's intention is that you are in custody, that you are in possession of power, that His power is available unto you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So you don't have things answerable to you until you are in power. You don't have things answerable to you until what? Until you are in power. And when we talk of power, we are not talking about physical force. No, 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 no. We are talking about the power of his might. We are not talking about self-work. Are you, sorry, sh- are you listening? We are talking about your natural man connecting to a supernatural force. And trusting the supernatural force for a release of every demand you place on it. Are you listening? For trusting the supernatural force for a demand you place on it. That when you say tonight is my night. And heaven wants to listen again. When they say, when you say again, tonight is my night, then they will see the pureness of your heart with the force called acceptance. They see that your spirit, your soul, your body has accepted. Ha! And God has sworn by two immutable things that it is impossible for God to lie. Once your heart agree with the force of heaven, Heaven has no right to withhold anything from you. So say, I receive power. So I receive power. Power is a strong bond with God that grants you access to what He has. Take note of that. The power we talk about is a strong bond with God. That gives you access to what he has. Lord, you are the giver of children. And I want my own children now. And you consciously, deliberately stand up. Lord, you wake up in the morning. Father, I'm up today. I want to thank you for James Jr. And you wake up and begin to give God thanks. Lord, I want to package an offering for Victor. Lord, I'm packaging an offering for Deo. God is indebted. Are you following me right now? He's indebted. He's seen a heart that trusts him by all means. Victor must come. 
by all means, they you must come. Are you following me right now? The Bible says, calling those things which are not as though they were. That is the power of believing. It's a strong bond with God that grants you access to the power to everything that you need. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. The Bible says, finally, when you hear the word finally, with all that we have said, this is of necessity. Anytime you hear the word finally, just know that it is conclusively. If you, if you fail in everything, don't fail in this one. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. And what? In the power of his might, not in the power of your flexing. Don't try to flex muscle. If you must boast, don't boast that you've got money. Don't boast that you have wisdom. Don't boast that you have knowledge. Boast that the power of his might is behind you. Are you following me right now? You know what David said? He said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow, that is, I walk, I brought myself into the problem. I walk myself into the problem. He was conscious of wanting power. He said, for though that is powerful, act with me. <laughs> and then he began to explain the mightiness of God. That is what? Around him. In other words, he was showing us, I am having answer, not because I am David the beloved. I am having answer because I am conscious of a God that never failed, that is actively active on my life. So, what you must trust it's not even in your righteousness that is like future rights. It's not in how you have kept the ordinance, the tabernacles, the feast of tabernacle. It's not in how perfect and righteous you should carry on your head. You can be a righteous man, perfect man, yet out of grace. But the consciousness of heaven that by his grace we are saved. Not of works. Lest any man should boast, you wake up, Lord, I'm up by your grace. Because of your grace, today is a blessed day. That's how powerful you are. Yes. I'm up by your grace. Because of your grace, money is coming today. I'm up by your grace. Because of your grace, my family will be fed. I'm up by your grace. And because of your grace, my home will be taken care of. You don't, nobody can truly take care of a home. Except the one helped by God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Finally, Ephesians 6 and verse 10, the, the AMPC. It says, in conclusion, in con that is the end of it all. In conclusion, my beloved, be strong in the Lord. He <coughs> said, be empowered what? Through what? <coughs> Your union. So, are you following me right now? He said, when they say you are weak, say, I don't doubt that I'm weak. When they say you are foolish, say, I don't doubt that I'm foolish. When they say um, nothing works, say, I don't doubt nothing works in me. But so much is working for me by my union with him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you following me right now? Yes, try me, you can try to catch me. But when I'm connected to you, you can't touch me. You don't understand. If somebody is chasing you and they are chasing you and you know that just about 500 meters away, help is there. You keep running and you'll be panting. And something will be telling you, you're very close. You're very close. Immediately you see help on the way. What happened? You just pause. And then you turn and face the person you're chasing. And then all the help behind you are just coming now. And then you say, you come here. And then suddenly the one that was chasing you will start doing what? Your connection with divinity put you in full forceful control of the supernatural. They are men of power. Those who are connected, who are born with God. You have to, you can't run this race alone. In him we live. In him we move. And in him, we have a big, no child of yours can survive alone until you have handed them over to the Lord. I was to teach them in the way of the Lord. 
teach them in the way of the law. There is a way called the way of God. There is a way that seems also right to man. That man thinks he's being perfect. No man can run a ministry with flesh. You can't run, you can't run this race. And the best of you is when you see your life as a ministry. You didn't catch that. The best of you is when you see everything about your life as a ministry. As an assignment in the hand of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The ability and the willingness to achieve everything is not in available resources. But it is in the power of God made available. Let me come again. The ability to achieve, the ability and the willingness to achieve anything is not in available resources. But it is in the power of God made available to you. There are people who have money that when they truly need something, their money will disappoint them. Their money will disgrace them. And there are people who don't have money, but they have the power called help. And they got into an office. You just enter an office. They say you can't enter here from the gate. Nobody's entering today. But he carry a power on his head called help. Meaning that everyone must help him. And the gate man look at him from afar. Just from afar. He said, you come here. He said, come here. You enter inside. The young man enter. He doesn't know where to go in the old office. Another person is up there. Saw him. Say, I like this, your shirt. Can I, where did you make this shirt? They started a conversation. He said, oh, my tailor did. My tailor made it. Okay, I'm interested in it. Can I have your number? He said, but what, what are you here for? <laughs> and then he said, I don't even know the office I am, but I need help here. He said, come, let me put you through. And that one began to put him through. There's what power to enjoy help and to be helped. You must have it. And I'm going to show you those dimensions of power tonight. That must be actively at work on your life. God told me, he said, for three months, you will tell the church how I have helped you. Because many are asking. He said, many have been asking. They've not been able to even say it to your face. Is it that there are people bankrolling you? That things are working here. How is things happening? The dimension of grace. The dimension of... I, so I started with you teaching you on men who have been secured by God. The Bible says, they look up to God. They were not what? Ashamed. There's a dimension. They have an understanding that never alone that we are compassed with such a great cloud of witnesses. They don't see weight even when weights are there. They don't acknowledge the presence of challenges. I know we are going through delay. I know we have challenges, but we are not seeing that. We are looking up to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. It doesn't matter how little my faith is. Let my faith just see success. Even if it is minute, he said there is a God in me who will finish it. <laughs> you didn't guess that. It doesn't matter how you start, just start fitting. Just what? Start fitting. So I will end well. Come on, say it. I will end well. Say in the name of Jesus, I will end well. Say in the name of Jesus, I will end well. Say, in the name of Jesus, I will end well. So I told you earlier that there are times that wealth fails. That's not the real power. But there are people who have this power to become anything. That's what we call the power to become, the power to begin, and the power to begin. He began good things. He begin, he become. Whatever he starts, ends. And there's also the power to finish it. Some can start and they die on the project. And another generation of sons are waiting, trying to find their way out. May the best of God come strong upon you. Amen. May you have power to become a frontliner. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible gave us understanding that even if you must have faith, it said your faith must not be in the wisdom of what? Of men. First Corinthians chapter 2. 
and verse 5. First Corinthians chapter 2. It said that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of what? Of man. But what? In the power of God. So if you must have faith, listen carefully. Hold on, so I will explain this scripture to you now. Oh, Pastor Fermi is a good lawyer and I have him around me. If I commit anything, if I've done anything wrong, I should tell him as it is. He will do what? He will bail me out because he is a good lawyer. So by he is the wisdom of God on his life, he has not lost any case. Are you following me right now? And then the Bible says, don't let your absolute faith trust in the wisdom of men. Are you following me right now? But in the power of God, knowing fully well that safety is the law. The horse is prepared for the day of battle, but safety is the law. If there will be any breakthrough, you must be able to say, I am powerful not because I graduated from Harvard. I'm powerful not because I've read all the books, but because there is the wisdom, there is the help of God at work on my life, not the wisdom of man. Not in the counsel of men. Men can tell you, look, this is the 10 road to success, road map of success. Hello, sir. Just carry your Bible on your chest. Lord, teach me success. You are the one who teach my hands to walk. You lead me in the way I should go and you teach me how to make profit. Teach me sources. If God gives you the power for profit, sir, nobody can take it away. Are you following me right now? If God gives, that's what we call the power for favor. Some have favor. They receive favor some days, some few days. But some have the power. That is, if they come in company of you, without you praying for favor, you too will start seeing favor. There are people who will help you because of a friend, not because of you. Yes. I don't know if you have understand. They just say, no, you think it's you we did this for? No. You got it because it was for somebody. It was because of somebody's presence that they are aura. There's somebody you will come in contact with all your doors will shut. They have power for bad luck. You didn't catch that. They have power for bad luck. Evil, evil is, is also another dimension of power. But that's diabolic. They have power to cause evil. That everyone you are around them. But there's a dimension of height you come. Where power passes power. Where evil spirit bow and submit. Are you following me right now? There's a height you get to. Even demons become your errand boys. But so when the ways of a man please the Lord, he makes even his enemy. That's powerful. To be what? At peace. You are in such control of a strange force, a supernatural. Somebody say, I receive help of God. Receive the help of God. <laughs> That's how they become very powerful. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> how they got power. This custodian of answers, we have said that they are men of power. And there is need, if time permits me, but I'll tell you some. How they got how they got power. Number one, they believed in it. They believe in power. They believe that there is a supernatural force. They believe that there is, because what you never believe in will never work for you. Are you following me right now? We never work for you. We never work for you. We never work for you. I know a family that there is nothing you try to talk them into. None of them from their family tree. None of them belong to any social platform. Platform, Any social. Why? They believe so much that the understanding of what they have of God, they don't need anybody to pollute them, anybody to contradict them. It's a family tree. And they don't want anybody to know anything about them. They just stay hook to the covenant, the blueprint of God fully at work on their life. And they safeguard it. And it's working very well for them. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So, they believe. If you don't believe in it, you can't have it. Ephesians chapter 1 and verses 18 to 20. They believed in it. They got power by believing. 
by believing. They got it by what? Believing. It says that the eyes of your understanding by me might be enlightened. Look at the dimension of what went on. By be what? Enlightened. That ye may know what is the hope of what? Of his calling. Number two. What are the riches of the glory of what is inheritance in the saint? Number three. Verses 19. It says, verses 19 please. And what is what? Exceeding greatness of what? Power. Of power. To who? <laughs> so the first way to which they got power is what? Towards them who did what? Believe. So those who believed in him, their eyes of understanding are what? Are open. And they have what? The hope of his calling. They are in custody. They are in custody. When a DBA put something in your hand, when you accept it, it means you now believe it. It doesn't work because he put it in your hand. It's not because you believe the procedures he told you to. Are you following me right now? And then sometimes if the DBA is wicked, he, will he knows that particular day, wind will come. Heavy wind, raging storm. And he will tell you this thing must not touch ground. When it touch ground, your life is shattered. Your life is destroyed. And then that particular day, we, it will be so windy, there will be tornado everywhere. Evil will be chasing you. You will, pre you will prefer that that thing is kept safe than your life. And eventually, when you say, God, say, God, just for that, the next thing that will first come out of your mouth is, I am you. <laughs> because you are seeing the fullness of your life on the ground. And now, you now believe that what a mumu prepare one way, your life is now. <laughs> only, only. Only are you Lord, only are you Lord forevermore. Only, only, only are you Lord, only are you Lord forevermore. So they believed. Everyone that becomes great believe in God for it. You don't assess this power to as many that believe him. So they believed in it. They did what? They believed in it. Verses 9, 8, 20. According to the workings of what? He said of his mighty power, which he walked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated in what? In the right what? And in where? In the heavenly places. So you have this not by eating concussion. That's the first form of this power. Not even by drinking olive oil. But by what? By believing. I believe today is a good day. Are you following me right now? And then the Bible said, that shall have whatsoever you say. I believe I can't be touched. Are you following me right now? So the first dimension of virtue God gave to all humanity, whether you are a Christian or not, is the power to believe. Are you following me right now? So he has given you the power to believe. I believe in the name of the God, the maker of the heavens and the earth. No man can kill me. No charm can touch me. The Bible says they believe. It said towards us who have what have believed. How they got power. Number two. Thank you Lord Jesus. Before we go through that, I want to show you something in First Peter, First Peter chapter one, and verse five. First Peter chapter one. Let's read from verse three to five. First Peter three to five, and then we have an understanding of where active faith 
is power released. Because I talk about those who believed. Active faith is what? Is power released. He said, blessed be the God and the Father of who? Of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who abundant to his mercy. We didn't deserve to be part of this powerful family tree. But who according to his abundant mercy. He did what? He has begotten us. He took Felicia. Took Ola. Took Eruka. Into what? A lively hope. Through what? Through the resurrection of Christ. So by faith in the resurrection of Christ, we now become powerful. Are you following right now? Verse 4. Look at what it says in verse 4. It says, To what? An inheritance incorruptible, undefined, that does not fade away, reserved where? And verse 5. It says, Who are kept by what? By the power of God. Through what? Faith. Did you see that? So when faith is activated, power is what? Released. When faith is activated, power is what is released. When faith is activated, power is what is released. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see the best of God finding expression in your life. Amen. Number two, it's not just enough to believe it. Number two, they receive it. They what? They receive it. They receive it as many that are led by the spirit he gave them power to become they receive it as many that has received him he gave them power to become he gave them power to become they receive it Luke chapter 10 and verse 19 he said behold I give Unto you powers over serpent. Are you following me right now? And scorpions. And I give you over all the powers of the enemies. And what? And nothing shall by what? Any means. What? So you are not powerful because you believed in power. You are powerful because you graduated from believing to accepting power. It's called receiving it. I accept what God has given me. I receive what he has made provision for. He has told me nothing will die in my hands. So he has given me power over death. He has told me I will not cast my young. So I receive power for fruitfulness. He has told me that my going out and coming in is blessed. I receive it that today is a blessed day. So they receive it and nothing shall by any means hurt you. They receive it. And as many that received him, he gave them power to become the sons of God. That is, sons who will act like God, not as man. So the custodian of answers are men, we saw it first, who have bond with God to be like him. If you stay around somebody too long, in a short while, you will soon find yourself acting like him. Are you following me right now? If you stay around a fool, once in a while, you too will be foolish. And eventually, if his own spirit is controlling your own too much, you become two foolish people. Are you with me right now? But if a foolish man is in the company of the wise, in a short while, the spirit is falling on him. It's, and then he will not start learning, asking questions. Because he already admits he's also foolish. Are you following me right now? But before he says anything, he says, bros, I don't know, make I not disgrace myself. And they say, no, son, do it like this, do it like this. In a short while, you become a great man too. And when you move with God and in the company of the host of heaven, you fear no host. If you move in the company of host of heaven, you what? You fear no host. He that dwell in the secret place of what? 
of the most high shall by all means by all means I, when i read that place that's where i put it Ulufemi. if you dwell in the secret place you will by all means abide under the shadow ha! and then you say hey, something happened to you now you fear I tell you, if, they, if you sleep, they give you food in dream. Go back and tell them the food is not good enough. Serve another one. Then when they run bankrupt, they won't come back. You need to understand the Bible says Christ in you, the hope of glory. So to feed me is to feed Christ. And Christ has to taste the food before he gets to me. For I don't live of myself. In him I live. In him I move. In him I live. Some of there is something in me. Come on, say there's something in me. What man fed me with is not enough to destroy me. You are a carrier. And the hellier you know, the better. And then you begin to grow in it. You begin to grow in it. He told me in plain town, bring them to the knowledge of truth by which they will reign as kings and priests as if the bees do not exist. He said they will have so much understanding of me and it will show how powerful they are. There is something you carry. You carry. They just told somebody two, three lines of incantation. When you call the intern, say, Jene, 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 Jene. I talk I'm now. I talk I'm now. So they send me. Are you following me right now? But the real word, the origin of word, does not flow from man. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God, and the word was with God. And there was nothing that was made except by the word of God. The word became light and dwelling in man. In man. So the this you are the, you are the carrier of his word, and out of thy belly shall flow rivers of living. What must live? He says flows from you. What this is how you talk about how powerful you are. You are not powerful until you have discovered the engrafted word of God. Until thy words were found, I did eat them. I ate it. You find the one called for wealth. Say, I see this one. You sit down with it for hours. You are still eating the verse of the Bible. You've not grown, no. You just in a hurry. You find a verse of the Bible, and throughout the week, that's the only thing ringing on your head. That's power. If all you know is one word, you you stop. You don't say, oh, no, I read Bible to power from cover to cover. Nobody can read Bible from cover to cover. It's not enough. Is a daily revelation. Are you with me right now? You can you can understand John three sixteen today, and another person will preach it next tomorrow. Somebody lay hold on my message on John three sixteen, where I was preaching on the soul loved. I think I preached John three sixteen for more than five weeks on that series of message, and I took a particular week I was preaching on the soul loved, and I preached on the word, and those who he gave, then become those who become it. Because not everyone who became it who become it. A dimension of grace and virtue. You can't know God finish. You can't. The, God is a God of multiple faces. You can't understand him finish. Don't say we have seen God. We ate with the angels. In fact, they, are, they wear white garments. They are like this. They are so-so. Who told you it was white? It was because they painted it white. You don't know the color of God. You don't know the color of God. You you don't know the color of God. If just tell them you are looking for God's color, look at me. They ask you what is the character of God? My character. What's the life of God? I live. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost. <laughs> Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. So, not of my spirit. That was what Jesus was saying. The Bible said, and Jesus returned 
in the power of the spirit. Look at this. He wanted to go. The Bible says he was led by the power of the spirit into wilderness. And he returned in the power of the spirit. And when he came to Luke 4, 18, Jesus said to them, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. There's a new power residing. He has given me power to declare the acceptable year. He said, now I can declare and I can preach gospel to the poor. I can heal the brokenhearted. There is power for the healing of nations. So they do what? They receive it. So may I receive it. So may I receive it. So may I receive it. Number three. They obtain it by asking in prayer and fasting. They obtain it. You know, when you are receiving, there's a higher dimension of receiving. And that's when you add self-denial to it. You add what? Self-denial to it. You just add self-denial. And when, when, every time you see the word prayer and fasting, Jesus said, there are many things that come freely. He said, but this kind goeth not forth. He said what? By praying and fasting. Some say, even God knows I cannot fast. He knows. He knows. God knows that nothing will separate me and food. I can't fast. He knows. He knows. I've been working with him, the spirit. Even the ministering spirit knows. No, you see this part of my body, eh? You know, you have concluded that there is a part of your body that is your body. Ah, no, God knows that. You know, we and God, we have where we meet, but He knows this one he has to keep this one so that this body can be. And you want the results. That is not picked on the road. You want things to answer. You want things to answer. Your heart, your mind, and body has not. I'm not going to pray. It's not prayer. You are you are lying down like this, but your heart and body is communing with God. One hour is gone, two hours, and you are you are having a deep conversation, deep reasoning with God. Why every aspect of your life must work, and then He's asking you put yourself under subjection. That's fasting. And then now pray from the subjection of your spirit to the awareness of his spirit. That is, you subdue your spirit to the awareness. I knew it. It was 2017, the, 17, the 15th day of the fast. I can never forget. And the Lord began to tell me, Uluwalunimi is coming. And he's coming with entourage. <sighs> Sorry, 2016. And I began to fast from that December. I fasted from December 1 all through the old thing. I was ready for what everyone was going to do. On the 15th day of the fast of 2017, God was telling me, He said, Son, he is coming with entourage. And I continued. We ended the 21 days fast. I was still continuing. I was giving it everything it takes. Lord, all the principalities waiting for me somewhere. I prevail. I prevail. I prevail. I began to declare their coming. Collapse time, oh God. Collapse time. Collapse time. Let them come as Trinity. That, when I said, go back to my message. You will see Trinity visitors. We did nothing. He did everything. I was calling the God who gives without help. Without man helping. He, if God wants to give you something finished, he gives you finish. If he wants to help you, he will help you without you crying for it. But Sarisa, you must go the extra mind. Extra mind. God told me about the glory that is coming for IWC. And what the world will have to say about it. He said, now some win battles before they manifest. <laughs> Not that I have a desire to just go on a fast. There are plenty meal I'm missing. 
You don't have an understanding. It's just a dimension. Lord, it must work. Let it speak. We know we have faith, it will speak. That's one that I've taught you that. We be, so we're not fasting because we're not believing or want to. No. But we ask fasting and praying to stay relevant. That's to stay winning. Wickedness is real, God's servant said. He said, but more real is our victory in Christ Jesus. But listen, it answers much more to spiritual consciousness. To be in control. To be in control of answers to have it all working. This kind goeth not by fast by except by what? By fasting and prayer. You must be able, you've not been able to decide, Lord, this one day, this not, not church call fasting for you, but these three days, I'm giving it to see the emergence of my children. These three days, I'm giving it to see men from the left begin to fight over who won't marry me. Because Bible says, who that he that findeth a wife. Lord, I'm now finding. And you just consciously give it into it. And you trust God for it. Lord, I believe it. I've been believing all this why. I receive it. I've received it. But now I'm enforcing it. Prayer and fasting enforces results. Take note of that. It enforces results. Because in place of fasting, your spirit becomes his spirit. Your heart becomes his heart. And your body is body. I see the Lord. And I see the Lord. So there is a height where he is. The only thing you are saying is his goodness. The only thing you are saying is God's winning crown. Stand on your feet. Now I told you, they believe it. Because we are going to pray now. We are about to pray right now. And I'd like you to lose it up. I'd like you to lose it. Lord, I believe in what you can do. I believe in the release of your power. Open your, declare it to him. Let him know you believe. I believe in your working grace. It will speak on my life. I believe in the power of wealth. It will rest on me. I believe in the power to become great. It will make manifest. I believe in the power that puts one at the top. I believe in your power of acceptance. The word we accept me. Come on, let him know you believe it. I believe in your working power. Oh God of heaven. I believe it. Open your mouth. Pray, pray, pray. I mean you should pray. Open your mouth and pray. I believe it. Let him know you believe it. I'm not doubting what you are able to do. I'm not doubting it. I believe you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all I can think or imagine through your power that worketh in me both to will and to do of his good pleasure. I believe it that my children have a glorious future. I believe it that my own will not fail. I believe it that my health is kept and preserved by you. I believe it that your grace is actively working on my life. I believe it. Open your mouth and let him know you believe it. Come on, declare, declare, declare. This is our power come. I believe you are the one who lift the apostles of old. I believe all the great servants of God you have used to take over nations. I believe in your power that's at work on them. I believe that my case will not be an exception. I believe Lord, there is a power of yours that settles life and destiny. I believe in it. There's a power of yours that picks men from the ordinary miracle and lift them up. I believe it. Open your mouth. Believe in the working power of God. I believe there's a power that put men up and showcase him to the world. I believe it. There's a power of yours that lift a man from the dung hill and put him among kings. I believe it, Lord. Open your mouth. Come on, open your mouth. Pray. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Somebody pray. Open your mouth. I believe it that your power can help me. 
I believe it that your hand can pick me up. I believe it. You can change my foolish story. You can transform my useless life. You can save a sinful sinner like me. You can liberate a frustrated one like me. I believe in your working power. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Bible says for as many that received him. To them he did what? He gave power. Say, Father, I receive you. I receive your spirit. I receive your grace. And I receive your mighty hands on my life. Open your mouth and receive it. Receive it. Open your mouth and receive it. Open your mouth. Come and open your mouth. I receive it. Your working power. Your working grace. I receive it. Your working power. Come and open your mouth. Receive it now. Open your mouth. Come and receive it. Lord, I receive it. Everything you have in redemption. I receive it. Your resurrection power. I receive it. Lord, I receive it. Oluwa Mokba. Oluwa Mokba. Oluwa Mokba. Adbara Iwosa. Adbara Jinde. Adbara Irapada. Oluwa Mokba. I receive it. Ekesuto. Latadi. Yema. Antapeko. Biranteke. Ekokotuda. I receive it. The power to be loved. The power to be accepted. The power to be ahead. The power to be in control. The power to be in charge. I receive it. Come and receive it. 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 Come and receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Wherever you are. Receive it right now. Receive it. Receive it. Come and receive it. I receive in me the working grace. I receive in me your fire. I receive in the name of Jesus the potency of life. I receive the life-giving spirit by faith. I receive it. The ability to be among the mighty. I receive it. I receive it. The position of honor. I receive it by mercy. I receive, Lord. I receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it. In Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. If you like to say, say loud, amen. amen. You know, the third prayer is a responsibility. He said, They ask in fasting and prayer. It's a demand. You need to carry yourself in the consciousness of the spirit and say, Lord, there is a day called my day of settlement. A day that I will wait on you and say, Elijah, it's about time to have a breakthrough. A day that is you is, is your self-deciding day. Are you listening to me? Self-deciding day. Nothing was working in my life. I tell you the truth. Nothing, nothing was working, nothing was speaking. I went to my family house. I went when I knew nobody was at home and I entered the room. I shut the door. And I said to myself, I will only come out when I've seen the sign of answer. No food, no nothing. I was inside there. And I was crying to God. There are forces in my family house that pressed down glory. I want my own. There are forces that have stolen glory. They, some they didn't steal it, they took it. There are some that as we were growing up, they served us food and took a part. God began to open my eyes to the source of my problem. And then eventually I saw through the pages of the book in him, complete in me, who is the head of all principalities and powers. And God told me, you were not complete in the glory you lost. 
if you were complete in it, you wouldn't have lost it in any form. But your fulfillment now is in me. I took it. Man, I received it from the Lord. And I said to the Lord, I'm not going until I've conquered all. Because if I go without conquering, the one I took, they will take it back. And I was in his presence. Without food. Without water. On the third day. And I the, uh, the Lord said to me, you are now complete in me. Who is the head? You must pray till you enter complete level. Who is the head of all principalities and powers? You are now circumcised. With circumcised. They were not made with any. He said, you have left the era of those who will beg for good things. He said, when you want it, you ask me, I give it to you. You want it, you ask me, I give it to you. And I boldly speak. When I speak now, all the demons go into hiding in my father's house. Now that I'm scared of one of them, I can't go home now. I go home, I call the demon, I say, go and make food for me, I want to eat. He, you, you even need to know how powerful God has helped you. Kushati Lord, I receive grace to have respect for spiritual consciousness. Come and pray. Receive grace to have respect for spiritual consciousness. Open your mouth. Come on. Open your mouth wherever you are. I receive grace to deny flesh to deny emotion. I receive grace to bring myself under the subject of the power of God. I receive grace. In Jesus, mighty name we have prayed. <clears throat> Do you truly want to win? Bible says, <clears throat> follow them through faith and patience, then get to a level they become obtainers. Obtainers of promise. Why do they have to just obtain it if they've been promised for it? It means there's a contention. You contain my son Timothy concerning the prophets that is gone ahead of you. He said, I beseech you this day that you fight a good fight of faith. You must go. It is calm down 50 days. I'm already missing this place. Because 50 days from here, I won't have an opportunity to stand on this altar any longer. Never. I will come open the door. It will look more smaller. Because I will be used to a new environment. Sir, take everything you can take now. You know, the top of Enoch say, how can I understand this? Except there be a man to put me through. Now I'm putting you through. Go back to all the message. Archive them. When I mean archive them, download them. You see, when I finish this teaching, you won't find any online. All. Whether YouTube or Facebook, you won't find them there. I'm showing you deep that course onto deep. The secret of God. How to prove it show people that you can have ministry with ease. God told me about a few months ago. He said, I'm bringing you into this so that you can start teaching on ministry with ease. How to absolutely trust in God. People think you need money first. You need God first. If God said to you, you will bring people, people will bring money. You don't need money. And then you flow with ease. Not 37 steps of how to take loan. Perfect loan. Work loan. Loan is loan. There's no perfect loan. No normal loan. No abnormal loan. Loan is what? Loan. And Bible say what? If you are a, a lender, you are a slave to the borrower. Is in the Bible. A lender. I mean, a, a borrower is a slave to the lender. So if you're a borrower, if all you do to borrow, borrow you, you lie, something is happening to you like this, they want to and you lie that lie to borrow, you are subjected under that person. When you can choose a better life, 
said that there is a God who gives the power to make wealth. So God doesn't give anyone power to be a borrower. Are you following right now? He said, me, I'm a smart borrower. When we borrow like a borrower, we know how to do. We do our permutation combination very well. No, there is no smart borrower. I, and my wife signed it. We we're getting married. Even a night to our wedding, I told her, tomorrow, if we finish the wedding, if you borrow, I work out on the marriage. No borrow in of any form. She said, I understand the grace. Why? She had grown also in grace and had studied well, following lines upon line, precept upon precept. Nothing. So, if I can borrow for myself, it's now the work of God. When God does not dwell in lack, I will not borrow for Wake up. It, whatever you see in God is what you become. Are you following me? If you see me, can do some things and you can borrow for some. Congratulations to you. I see I can't have anything by myself. The Bible says we are not sufficient in ourselves. Our sufficiency is of the Lord. And that's why we rely on you. Come on, celebrate Jesus. <laughs> Take your seat in his presence. You will, you will go forward. So find a time